So you, you were telling me earlier this was your first American film, which seems incredible because you had such a storied career before this. Yes, I uh, worked in Germany with our, uh, basically with Fassbinder, which I knew when he was 14 and a half and I was 15. We met in a working class bars with, for that time, very advanced uh, of transvestite truck drivers. And if somebody made a strange uh, remark, they got just a beer bottle in their face. <laughs> That's how we met. And uh, then uh, later on, we started working together. And we worked together till um, basically till he died. And then there was, of course, in Germany that time, we had only a few directors. Uh, I thought it's better. You always have to direct, Can you don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Here, yeah, like that. Okay. They have Herzog, <laughs> Wim Wenders, and Fassbinder. Yes. And I'm sorry, you didn't tell me to have a mustache in my own private Idaho. I would have loved to have a mustache. <laughs> Saying, do you want to be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was uh, <coughs> that was uh, uh, in Germany, and then Fassbin unfortunately died very young, much too young. And I met Gas in uh, Berlin, f uh, Malanoche, and he came to me, and uh, we were talking in the bar, and. Uh, I thought, yeah, Fassbinder and Gas von Sand, and they're very lonely at festivals. They talk a lot, but he did not only talk, he got me the work permit. I came to America, made my first film, and now, 25 uh, years later, I'm still here. I cannot see you because I just see <laughs> so strong light. And I'm very happy. That was my first film with great actors. River Phoenix was unbelievable. It cost me a lot of money because he was such a kind of method actor that he called me Hans and I had to pay. So <laughs> when we went out in the evening, he said, Hans, pay. So, and I had a, I had a SAC union contract. So <laughs> it was a, a difference. But so I, I am also a big Fassbinder fan, but I have to imagine that Gus is temperamentally the polar opposite of Fassbinder to work with. Is that true or is that... Well, first of all, we're here to talk about gas. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. Fassbinder is... Uh, we want to talk about Fassbinder. Heaven, <laughs> heaven, okay. <laughs> all right, then. I've also often wanted to, <coughs> like, and I will do this, actually, now that I live out with you, I can record and uh, uh, all your stories about Fassbinder. Well, the difference is that uh, <coughs> Fassbinder... I remember we made a film called The Third Generation with Hannah Shigula playing my wife. And we walked in a, in a room <clears throat> and somebody said, why are you fighting? And it was not in the script. And I said, we're not fighting. Fassbinder left the camera, went to his room. I had to be all day knocking on the door saying, sorry, sorry, because I ever had the brave moment of inventing one sentence. Gas was totally different. I said to uh, Gas, in the film you will see it, a very interesting scene. I told him, I told him, I went to Moscow and I was singing in Moscow and they uh, forgot to give me uh, the microphone. So I had a, a lamp and I put it right away into my microphone, singing into a lamp which was actually good because I realized I could work with it and I could do my own lighting. And the people in the <coughs> Russian stadium, they were from Pink Floyd, they said, who is this fucking person? We give him all the light and he comes out with a flash lamp. <laughs> and anyway, another story. And yeah, then... That <coughs> was um, Udo, uh, <coughs> the first day you arrived, well, maybe not the first day, but you had a cassette. You had a lot of ideas. And you, one of them was you get a cassette see. from videos that you had made, and the and the also the music. performance performance that he had had, and we shot it. We that was what was no. One you said, actually can I hear the tape? And yeah. I gave oh, and then we the realized that oh, we have to have this in the. Uh, I re I remember it very well. And you said, can I have the tape? I gave you the tape. You took it home. You came back the next morning when we had the sex scenes uh, with the boys, and you said to me, why don't you sing to the boys? I said, what? I sing before I have sex, okay. And <laughs> <coughs> he said, 
<laughs> he said, why don't you take that big lamp? I said, no, and I told you it was a small lamp. And he gave me that big lamp, which was like that. And the technician had to make that long cable. And that's what you see later when I have this big lamp and thinking, sitting on a bullet, thinking of power every hour. So I had to do this. And I think, let's not talk so much about me. Let's talk about cars. 